Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Kessler, and today I'm going to give you a little short intro to HeartQuest. And at the end of that, you see HRV, that's heart rate variability, which is a small portion of this evaluation. This is a functional evaluation, and as you can see, it's highly visual. And if we make it that way, so it's really easy for the patient to understand and also for the practitioner as well. This is our team. I'm Dr. Michael Kessler, and I've been practicing as a DC doing functional uh, medicine and nutritional evaluations and bioenergetic medicine for about 35 years. And on the right, you see Dr. Javdak Termov. He's an MD from Russia and an MD, NMD here in Portland, Oregon, and he's our designer and innovator of this incredible technology. Last but not least, we have Dr. Sandra Picchetti. She's a DC trained in Chinese medicine and our corporate coordinator. We have a philosophy here uh, and, a, and actually a view of, of looking at uh, the whole integrated system. And so when we look at uh, worldview, Global Health Solutions worldview of integrated systems, when we look at functional medicine, when we look at Chinese medicine, and we look at Ayurvedic medicine, they're all kind of saying the same thing. Commonality is that all these systems do the body as an interconnected system affects this complex human body is, you know, you guessed it, lifestyle, environmental factors, and genetic variations. And the heart quest can view how these stressors are affecting that individual. And within the heart quest, we've tied all these systems together because we only have one body and they're really kind of saying the same thing in different ways. So here's an example of doing a consultation with a patient after initiating a treatment. So first, let me tell you, what we're looking at is, is how our therapies are affecting our patient. You can visually show them. It visually shows your patient that the nutritional remedies, the lifestyle changes, the bioenergetic modalities such as light therapy or pulse magnetic field therapy or homeopathic remedies and maybe genetic bypass nutritional strategies are effective in improving your patient's outcome. We just did a uh, heart quest on this patient about a month ago. Now they came back in after we did whatever therapies we uh, are performing in our practice. You say to this patient, oh, it looks like your biological age is less than your actual age. And, you're, and you know, for patients, that's huge. They all want to be younger than their actual age, right? And the stress index is coming down, and your sympathetic nervous system tone is coming up, so you can see that. And that is confirmed in your 24-hour cycle. So we have a little uh, program in there that tells us that, you know, are you a night person, or a day person? And we can see if somebody's you know sleeping at night and what that and what's going on with their uh, biorhythms of the body, right? So now she looks like she's sleeping better. Her parasympathetic tone is coming up to help that, and it looks like her um, thyroid functional index is is, is looking better. There's this feedback that the thyroid is looking better from and from a Chinese medicine perspective. The water element and especially the kidney meridian is more balanced, which kind of gives us a clue about the adrenal. And the ketogenic adaptive diet is working for you and with some intermittent fasting. And uh, this seems to work well for you because you're a vata dosha. They do much better on this kind of diet and uh, you do much better with fats. So we can kind of look at the overall picture. And this is kind of an example of going through this with a patient uh, where she's giving the thumbs up. Says, wow, she's getting better and uh, the doctor's happy, the treatment's working. Many faces of heart quest, okay? And I'm just going to give you a quick rundown because we're going to show you more and more and more as we do future episodes, okay? So this on the left, classical heart rate variability. These are looking at the statistical values. These are looking at the values that we see in the scientific literature. And there's thousands of, of papers in PubMed on heart rate variability. And these are the classic heart rate variability indices on the left. Go to the right side. These are some of the some of the work of Dr. Karamov, and some of the work coming out of Russia. So we're looking here at the brain function. Gives us an idea about brain function. Gives us an idea about 
brain neurotransmitters, excitatory, inhibitory. It's a little bit about brain toxicity here, which is really about the liver. And you come down here, and this gives us a, a look at the mineral status and ratios, gives us indications of inflammation, gives us indications about the cortisol to DHA ratio a little bit, and some other hormonal function. And one of my favorites, the thyroid function. Then we are able to break this uh, uh, information down very, very accurately to look at Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine. And again, we will show more on future episodes. And why do you need heart pulse? First of all, it shows the patient that your treatment and therapies are effective. In the case that interconnected systems such as the autonomic nervous system, which controls 90% of your body's functions with that thinking about it. You can't be healthy without it. It shows what's going on with the neural hormonal regulation of the body, which is your HPA axis, meridians from Chinese medicine, and how they all work in a very specific corridor for optimal health to take place. It looks at indications of excited to neurotransmitter balance, indications of brain toxicity, which is really about the liver, inflammation, and the thyroid function, indications of adrenal balance between cortisol and DHEA, and has all the research scientific parameters found in traditional heart rate variability. And it's an amazing tool for patient compliance and management. Now we have about 500, 600 of these systems out there, and this is what the patients are telling us. This is what the practitioners are telling us about this system. I want to thank you for listening. And for more information, please call Dr. Teramoff, 503-901. 336 or Dr. Kessler at 415-646-6112. And we're going to be placing uh, educational videos on the YouTube channel. And you can get on there, you can kind of type this in, and we'll have uh, videos and we'll keep adding to that for your, for your education. I want to thank you for listening.